Steve Perry shows why he is more than just the voice. We'll talk about that coming right up. And now it's time for Steve Perry News with Gary Stuckey. All Steve Perry News. Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey. Welcome back to another episode of Steve Perry News. And last night, Steve Perry over in Boston at the Dana Ferber Cancer Institute fundraiser, Erin O'Malley was there from 104.1. And Steve has been talking to her on the radio and now he's there to help her raise money for that institute. And Erin is a cancer survivor herself. Been battling, you know, and fighting this dreaded disease. And they're raising money. They raised $16,000 for breast cancer for that institute. And then Steve surprised Erin with a check for $15,000. And it made Erin's face light up. And you can see it over on their website and over on Twitter, places like that. You know, for Steve to do that, it shows that he's more than just a voice, you know. He's got a great singing voice. We've admired that voice and loved it for years. And the voice itself is a, is a healer. It's helped many a person through a stressful situation, hard time, even when you're feeling down and out mentally and physically, those songs help you. His voice is like a God-given talent that heals, you know. But to show up at a benefit for somebody, to show that you care, and to give that money is an action, and love is an action, showing that you're given. And Steve has been touched by fans that have been there through all those years waiting for his new album. And he's touched by that. And we've been showing that we're still here by buying these albums and, and talking about him. You know, every day I check out, like on his uh, Facebook page, his group page, the, the love and admiration that people have for, for him. And he's starting to realize that. And in an interview the other day, that I was listening to one of the best interviews that I've heard with Steve. You know, he was talking about him and Kelly. And Kelly, they were at a uh, baseball game, and Kelly said that fans, they love Steve. You know, she told him, hey, they make you happy. You know, he does something to these fans. I, I think that no other celebrity or musician or whatever has that effect, you know. But he does have that voice and his whole personality, you know, is, is there's like this, you know, strong aura, I guess you could say. But that's a God-given ability to make people happy. When you can make somebody happy that's going through a hard time or they're sick. And I know a lot of people out there right now that are sick, but this music gives them something you know, to listen to and make them feel better. And that's a healer, you know, and that says a lot for a person that can sing great, but takes up time to help people. There's breast cancer, the victims, the survivors of people going strong. And he's showing that he cares and he's given money, he's given time. He's answering questions, talking about the album last night, you know, taking pictures with fans but helping out a friend and raising money, you know, over over $31,000, you know, raised for that. So that's something to be said. And to me, that's what a hero is. It's not just a talent of a voice that's touched millions, but it's a person that makes somebody happy with that talent. And Steve said in an interview recently, he believed that cancer, you know, he believed love could cure cancer. And uh, the truth is, it does, you know. Hey, this is Gary Stuckey. Don't stop believing everybody. God bless you.